And you would think as hot as it gets here in Southern Nevada, basic heat related protections would be a given. But right now there are no state regulations regarding heat in the workplace. Back in May, we learned from Nevada OSHA that officials are considering creating some, but they say it'll be a long process. It could take several months and so it's not going to be ready for this summer. So that's why, you know, we're really just trying to educate employers at this time about what they should be doing to address heat. Heat has been a complex issue to address. And so, you know, we've tried different strategies and over time we've had conversations and I think that um, we once we are once we're ready to move forward, I think, you know, we'll have a lot of buy in. You know, sometimes things take a while for um, for there to develop some consensus. State OSHA officials told us an employer mandated regulation is currently in the works and talks with stakeholders have been ongoing for more than a year. With the excessive heat warning going into effect later on today, that's at 11 o'clock this morning, Clark County will open its cooling centers for the day, but most of them will be closed tomorrow for Independence Day. The two locations in Las Vegas that will be open tomorrow are the Salvation Army off West Owens Avenue and the Courtyard Homeless Resource Center on Foremaster Lane. We have a full list of cooling stations and schedules in this story on our website, KTNV.com.